Collective research. Active fundamental research in global capital markets. Make informed decisions. Quantum Computing Inc. QCI. NASDAQ. Cube is a full-stack quantum software and hardware company on a mission to accelerate the value of quantum computing for real-world business solutions. The company recently acquired QPhoton, a quantum photonics innovation company that has developed a series of quantum photonic systems, QPS. The combination of QC's flagship ready-to-run software product, Catalyst, with QPhoton's QPS, sets QCI on a path to delivering a broadly accessible and affordable full-stack quantum solution that can be used by non-quantum experts, anywhere, for real-world industry applications. Hardware with the EQC. EQC utilizes the measurement postulate of quantum mechanics. EQC operates on quantum open systems, where the dynamics of a quantum state is affected by its surrounding environment. EQC is a general methodology to quantum information processing, supporting optimization, gate models, and more. For optimization, EQC starts with quantum fluctuations and preferentially amplifies the ground state of a Hamiltonian through a feedback control loop. Catalyst is a cloud-based service that allows users to solve different types of optimization problems on a variety of quantum computers or quantum simulators. Solutions QC's Quantum Solutions team helps clients solve high-value business problems using quantum hardware and software technologies. Our quantum computing experts work closely with client teams to implement technology solutions that create competitive advantage. Consistent losses. The company has reported negative net income for each of the years from 2019 to 2023. This indicates that, overall, the company has not been profitable during this period. Operating performance. Operating income, which represents the profit from core business operations, is also consistently negative. This suggests that the company is not generating positive earnings from its day-to-day -day activities. Worsening performance. Both net income and operating income seem to be worsening over the years. The decreasing values may be a concern for investors as it indicates a potential trend of declining financial performance. Total assets and liabilities. The significant increase in total assets over the years, except in 2023 where the value is not provided, may suggest growth, expansion, or acquisitions. Investors typically view an increase in total assets positively, but it's important to assess whether this growth is sustainable and contributing to the company's overall value. The corresponding increase in total liabilities indicates that the company is financing its growth, potentially through debt. Investors should carefully evaluate the reasons behind the increase in liabilities and assess whether the company can manage its debt obligations effectively. Debt Equity Ratio The decreasing trend in the debt equity ratio from 2019 to 2023 is generally positive. A lower debt equity ratio suggests that the company is relying less on debt for financing, which can be less risky for investors. Improvement in Liquidity the notable improvement in both the quick ratio and the current ratio from 2019 to 2023 is a positive signal. This indicates that the company has become more liquid over time, having a better ability to meet its short-term financial obligations. Quick ratio below 1.0 in 2023, while the quick ratio has improved, it's worth noting that it is still slightly below 1.0 in 2023, standing at 0.98. A quick ratio below 1.0 suggests that the company may rely on its non-liquid assets to some extent to meet its short-term liabilities. Current ratio at 1.00 in 2023, the current ratio has reached 1.00 in 2023, indicating that the company's current assets are equal to its current liabilities. This is generally considered a healthy level, as it suggests that the company has sufficient liquid assets to cover its short-term obligations. P-E ratio. The P-E ratio has improved from minus 10.15 in 2020 to minus 1.99 in 2023. However, negative P-E ratios are uncommon and could be a red flag for investors. Negative P-E ratios may be a result of losses, accounting irregularities, or other financial challenges. P-S ratio. The P-S ratio has shown significant fluctuations 
from 207.91 in 2023 to 593.34 in 2022. The analysis indicates a challenging financial situation for the company, marked by consistent losses and a decline in operating performance from 2019 to 2023. While there's evidence of growth in total assets, the simultaneous increase in liabilities, potentially financed through debt, raises questions about the sustainability of this expansion. The decreasing trend in the debt-equity ratio is positive, signaling reduced reliance on debt for financing. However, the unusual negative value in the debt-equity ratio for 2019 requires further investigation. The improvement in liquidity, as indicated by increased quick and current ratios, is positive, although the quick ratio being slightly below 1.0 in 2023 raises concerns about reliance on non-liquid assets. The company's negative P-E ratios and fluctuating P-S ratios suggest challenges and uncertainties, with negative P-E ratios being uncommon and potentially indicating financial difficulties. Investors are advised to conduct thorough due diligence, consider industry benchmarks, and assess the company's future prospects, including management's plans for improvement and responses to identified challenges, before making investment decisions. If you would like us to research a stock, please tweet at Collective ReC or leave a comment here. Like and subscribe for potential investment ideas. Become a member at www.collective-research.com. Receive investment ideas before they are published. Collective Research. Active fundamental research in global capital markets. Make informed decisions.